Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here. And in this video, we'll do a detailed FAQ on the OnePlus 8. So OnePlus 8 is the latest flagship smartphone and the pricing in India starts at 41 triple nine and it goes all the way up to 49 triple nine for the 12 gigs RAM variant. So in this video, we'll cover all the aspects uh, this will be like the regular FAQ video we do on our channel. So it will be like 20 point FAQ. We'll cover all the aspects in case you still have any questions. You can just drop a comment and uh, we'll be helping you out with your questions on the OnePlus 8. So let's get started. First, let's have a look at the build quality of the OnePlus 8. So OnePlus 8 comes uh, with uh, a glass finishing. You can see that the front uh, display as well as the back panel is made of glass. It's a premium and well-built phone. Now, unlike uh, the previous version, uh, it is quite slim and also slightly lighter in weight and the weight distribution is such as such pretty good. It's, it's a well-built uh, device in terms of the fit and finish. You can see that uh, overall it feels really nice. It definitely gives a premium experience. So it is made of glass finishing on the back panel. Now, next uh, is the display quality. Now you get a 6.55 inches uh, full HD plus resolution display. Now this display is an optic AMOLED display. Now uh, uh, the, the change with respect to OnePlus 70 on the OnePlus 8 is that you can see that the display edges are slightly curved. You can see there is a curvature towards the uh, either ends. Uh, you can see there is a slight curvature. So that's one major change. Uh, otherwise it's the same optic AMOLED display. It's really good. It's HDR10 enabled display and 90 Hertz refresh rate. So you get a really smooth experience on the display now there is also gorilla glass support it's a 3d gorilla glass on the front and the back uh, even the back panel is supported by gorilla glass now next is the sim cards now you get a dual sim card support uh, uh, you can use both the sim cards with 4g lte and uh, this is 5g enabled device so you, if you are using a 5g sim card uh, in uh, in your country you can get 5g connectivity as well now uh, there is no SD card support, uh, instead uh, it comes with uh, uh, plenty of storage, 128GB storage as well as 256GB storage, so you get plenty of storage here. Now you also get a UFS 3.0 uh, storage support, uh, so OnePlus 8 Pro is uh, uh, UFS 3.1, here we get UFS 3.0 and it is using LPDDR4X uh, uh, RAM uh, when compared to the LPDDR5 on the OnePlus 8 Pro, so that's one change with respect to the uh, OnePlus uh, Eight. Now this has uh, multiple variants. In India, we get six gigabyte RAM, eight gigabyte RAM, as well as twelve gigs of RAM. Uh, while international variants, I think this is limited to uh, eight gigs and twelve gigs of RAM. Now software experience. So software has been one of the really strong points of the OnePlus device. So you get uh, the Android uh, 10 on this device. So this is having the latest version of Android. Now apart from that, you also get the Oxygen OS. So, so Oxygen OS is one of the really smooth Android uh, UIs available. And uh, you get the Oxygen OS 10.5 uh, and Android 10. Uh, that's the software. So it brings uh, a lot of features uh, as well. Uh, so nothing much changed in terms of features, but it, you do get uh, customization options. Say for example, if you go here, you can see you can do a customization, fingerprint animation, clock style, horizon lights, uh, accent color tones, icon packs, all those things you can customize. Then uh, you do get additional options. Then the most important thing about this UI is the smoothness and uh, it is extremely smooth and responsive. You get uh, uh, there is app locker, uh, parallel apps, pocket mode. So a lot of options are included on the OnePlus um, 8 with the Oxygen OS. Now next is the performance side. So performance uh, we don't have to say because this is uh, powered by the Qualcomm's uh, Snapdragon 865 octa-core processor which delivers a really smooth experience uh, and uh, the device performs really well. No issues whatsoever. We have been using for like one and a half weeks and the experience is uh, really smooth on this device. So that's the performance and the uh, software aspect. Now talking about the gaming, again uh, being a uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 power device, the gaming experience is uh, really smooth. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, we have done a detailed video on the gaming and the graphic quality as well as the experience is really good on the OnePlus 8. In case you want to know more about the gaming, uh, do check out our video. Uh, which uh, where we have provided a complete detailed gaming experience. The next is the LED notification. So we'll just connect this device to a charger. So there you go. So there is no LED notification included. So that's the uh, device. So there are no LED notifications included in the OnePlus uh, 8. 
Now, if you want the notification support, uh, you you can see that there is ambient display, uh, shoes time, and uh, other options, uh, including here display uh, what to show and what not to show can be configured with the ambient display. So that is that option is available on the One Plus uh, uh, Eight. Now, uh, fingerprint scanner and face unlock. So that's another uh, thing. So we can see here. Uh, it has a really fast fingerprint scanner and uh, you can see that it's really fast uh, unlocking so there you go so it's very fast in unlocking and the face unlock also works uh, really fast so there you go so that's the fingerprint scanner and the face unlock the fingerprint scanner is an in display fingerprint scanner now USB OTG as this device supports USB OTG out of the box so you can connect your computer peripherals, pen drives uh, etc to the OnePlus uh, 8 uh, with the adapter USB OTG adapter. Now talking about the sensors you can see that it comes with accelerometer, gy uh, gyroscope, uh, light, proximity, uh, sound, magnetic sensor all, those, uh, all the basic sensors are included on the uh, OnePlus 8. Now next is the cameras. So this device has uh, a triple camera setup so we have a primary 48 megapixel sony imx586 sensor you get a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and a macro sensor and on the front panel we have a punch hole camera again a uh, selfie camera which is 16 megapixel shooter now again this is the sony sensor so uh, you get the sony imx586 sensor which we have seen on the oneplus 7t as well now uh, talking about the camera we have done a detailed camera review so you can check out that video to get an idea about the, how the experience is it's definitely improved of the one plus 70 but it needs a bit more refinement especially in the macro camera so you can have a look at uh, the detailed camera review uh, to get an idea about how the camera experience is now next is uh, the battery and the charging time so this device comes with a uh, warp 30t charger we have tested the charging time and found this to be charging from 0 to 100 percentage in around 70 minutes or so so it's really really fast in terms of charging it has a 4300 mAh capacity battery and the battery performance is also very good uh, here are some screen on times uh, which we got uh, with the device uh, it's really good uh, battery performance and uh, uh, you can get some uh, stellar battery life on the oneplus 8 the next is a wideband L1 support. So uh, this is a flagship device, so flagship category. So you get uh, the wideband L1 support. So if you are uh, watching uh, content from Netflix or Amazon Prime, you get the HD content. Uh, so you can see that there is wideband L1 support included. Now another thing which many have been asking us is whether there is any camera to API support. So you can see that there is full level support uh, the camera to API. And we have actually installed uh, the camera. Here is the camera. So uh, you can uh, actually uh, see that this is the camera and uh, we have uh, tried with the Google cam so it works actually so this is the Google cam installed uh, on the OnePlus 8. Now voice over Wi-Fi that's another feature which has been uh, ruled out uh, by Jio and Airtel in India. So if you go to the Wi-Fi network so just select uh, here uh, in, in fact not here uh, Wi-Fi and let's go to the SIM and network. So here you can see that. Uh, volte and wi-fi calling is available so you can see that calling preference uh, wi-fi calling is the preferred one call uh, call over oh, mobile network is not selected so wi-fi calling is supported on the one plus eight now colors there are it is offered in three colors one is the black variant which we have the green there is also green variant and interstellar variant so those, those are the three colors available and it is offered in three variants 6 GB RAM being offered at uh, 41 triple nine. that's 42,000. Then you get uh, the 8 GB RAM which is retailing for 44 triple nine, and the 12 gigs of RAM variant which we have has uh, 49 triple nine pricing. So that's the three pricing and it is available on Amazon. Now availability it's already started but uh, there are some issues with uh, the stocks but uh, it should come up soon. So it will be available on Amazon as well as uh, OnePlus stores. So that is a detailed FAQ on the OnePlus 8. Uh, we have covered uh, almost all aspects. In case you still have any questions to ask, you can drop a comment and we'll be uh, helping you out with uh, your questions uh, on the OnePlus 8. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.